Hello and good morning, you guys. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. We're great. How are you? Man, I'm so excited to talk with you because I really believe inside my heart that when you guys appear on Hulu, you are going to become the talk of the summer of 2023 and beyond. Uh, thank you so much. We appreciate your support. Well, your realism is what we support because, I mean, you are a real family and you don't mind us watching you. And then we bring it back to our own families to either to correct or to have a reason to have an argument. <laughs> well, hopefully it's bringing families together. I come from a family of eight, so I get it, man. And, and so I've gotten being from a family of eight. We had one bathroom. Come on. what? How are you guys doing it? Oh, wow. Well, we can relate to that. I mean, imagine growing up 12 people in a three-bedroom, two-bathroom house. So <laughs> we feel you. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, when, when you're growing up, one of the things that, that, that is fun about being in a big family is that you have the power of choice. Who am I going to play with today inside my family? But then you're accused of favoritism. Do, have you ever dealt with that where you're, I mean, a sibling goes, oh, you like them better than you like me? Oh, sometimes it happens, definitely. Well, when we were younger, two would gang up against one. It really depends on the day and the situation. Did, did you learn from it, though? Because, I mean, I mean, look at what you guys are doing today. I mean, it's, it, it really, there, there's harmony, but at the same time, I mean, th- there's also challenges, but, but I, I do love the harmony that you have created. That's taken time, hasn't it? Definitely, it has. I mean, we're so blessed to have each other. And you'll see, you know, throughout the season, like just the generational tension between the elder sisters, the more conservative sisters, and then there's us, nine and ten, and we're, you know, we're we're pretty wild, we're pretty out there, we're just kind of living our own lives, and, you know, trying to figure out what we want to do, so... There's definitely, um, you, you'll see the drama with that. <laughs> now, now, being numbers <laughs> yeah. 9 and 10, I mean, that, that my dad spoiled my youngest sister, and the rest of us were kind of, you know, we, we would grunt and moan because she always got everything. Do you guys get special treatment? Well, I guess I'm considered really a middle child. Yeah. <laughs> Since I'm number 9, Hamida's the baby, so I feel like you might have got a bit of special treatment. I definitely got babied, for sure. Yeah, you did. I still do. <laughs> I, I, I'm a middle child, and I have to tell you that I think that's one of the reasons why I live in a creative world, because it's like, okay, I, I, I just want to be in my own space. Please just let me grow. Do you, as a, as a middle child, do you feel the same way? Yes, absolutely. I've gone through that. Um, I find myself to be more neutral. I'm call, They call me neutral nor in the family. Whenever there's drama, I kind of just try to navigate it as um, unbiased as possible. Mm-hmm. Now, what about hand-me-downs? Did you guys have to deal with that? Because it was like, oh, my God, I don't want my brother's tennis shoes. I don't want my brother's whatever this and whatever that. Oh, we heard everything. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Are you kidding me? Our, our mom would make our clothes when we were in kindergarten. <laughs> Not <laughs> on top of hand-me-downs. <laughs> so we were the only kids wearing these Super traditional, weird-looking clothes on the playground. <laughs> <laughs> Being on the show and with those cameras, did it take some time to get used to that? Because, I mean, I know what it's like to have a microphone in front of me at all times. And sometimes, you know, it's, it's like, I don't need this microphone. And, and I mean, I mean, that camera, did it get old? Sometimes you forget that the camera is even there, really. There's, there are scenes where some sisters are just going at it, and they just completely disregard the cameras are there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when it gets a bit tough, you you wish there wasn't a camera there as well. So we relate to that. That would that would be one of my big uh, PTSD moments, you know, knowing that oh, we just said something. I don't know if the world needs to know about this. Oh, the anxiety! You have no idea. <laughs> It, isn't it odd that, that I'm, I'm going to go back 10 to 15 years here, even further than that, in, in the way that, you know, the, the fact that we could follow families on television, that was, that was just a fantasy thing. That was something they did in movies. But now you've become such a part of our reality. In reality, I have dinner with you guys when I'm watching the show. So, so I mean, we, we all are family. It's not just the, the 12 of you. And I... I personally love that, that families are getting together because of our family. We're so close and all we have in this world is each other. So that's really heartwarming to hear. How do you deal with the individuality? Because, I mean, that, that's the one of the things that, I mean, we all are individual people, but we all come from the same seed as well. But, and, and people say, well, that's just not the way the family should be acting. Oh, well, I, I'm me. 
Mm-hmm. Well, my mother would always say that each one of us is like petals from the same rose, <laughs> and that she loved us all, and that if um, she compares to fingers, she'd say if any one of her fingers were cut, her whole hand wouldn't work. Oh, so wow. there's that. <laughs> But definitely we were encouraged to be individual and and voice our opinions, and you'll see that on the show. Do you have a support team in the way of, well, I guess you do, because with 10 sisters, I mean, when you're having one of those days of doubt and, 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 they, and, and those your sisters around you feel it, do they come to your support right away, or is it one of those where they want you to work it out so you can learn from it? There is always a sister to rely on. We always have somebody to talk to, and we're never alone. And that's the best thing about having family. See, that's what I love about it. And, and you make me yearn for my, my eight siblings because it's just one of those things. And then, Because when you grow up and you move away, you're, you're not together like you were as kids. Yes. I mean, currently me, so number seven, number nine, and number 10 are in the same house together. So I see her every day. (laughs) I don't miss her every day. (laughs) I've also heard that you guys are connected on the social network and, you know, you've got uh, different, uh, different uh, email addresses and things where you, or or areas where you, where you need to go away and talk a little bit. Yes, we um, go to our corners of the room. (laughs) (laughs) But social media has definitely been a, a huge thing for the family, right? I mean, what what a better way to keep, you know keep connected to a sibling? It is. It's it's really nice to see my you know Hamida never had social media before this. So how are you handling it? I mean, something I'm still learning a lot about it, and I mean, I've only had it for about like six days now. I mean, she asked me questions like how to post and <laughs> how to do certain things. It's pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when 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 the um, youngest sisters become leaders in their own right, I mean they they have to learn from those above us. Yeah, it's it's very interesting the gap with all the different social media platforms and the ages. It's a learning lesson, but it's fun. Yeah, speaking of those lessons, my brother you know busted the rules when he was in high school. I couldn't have a car until I was eighteen. Have you guys had to face that where someone older than you, you know, they broke a rule and it's like ah because of you I can't have this. Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding? We wouldn't be sisters. <laughs> that wasn't the case. <laughs> well, congratulations on Secrets of Sisterhood. Like I said in the very beginning, you are going to be the talk of, of the summer of 2023 and beyond. I, we just cannot wait to follow you and to grow right alongside you. Thank you. We're so very excited as well. Thank you so much for your support and use the world to us. Well, you be brilliant today, okay? Thank you. Have a good day.